Hi, welcome to the Hersey House. I'm Jeremiah Hersey, and today we're going to be talking about collections and how clear collect in the clear function. Let's take a look at make.powerapps.com. So here we are at make.powerapps.com, and my only data source is a table inside of SQL Server with a list of parks and the park information. So what we're going to do today is we're going to select a couple parks to put into a collection and then display that collection inside of another gallery. So I've already connected to my data source, which is my park table inside of SQL Server. So let's just view what's in that. So we're going to insert a vertical gallery and we're going to select our park table or whatever table that you want to create. Now it'll pre-populate some information inside of here. You can always change these to different columns inside of that table. And so this is the address, this is the, the city. And so with the whole gallery selected, we can go to edit fields on the right hand side. And we can change the position. So I want to take address, I want to make this the park name. And notice right here it says sample image. We can't actually change that, but inside of my table, I have a list of all of the images for the parks based on their site image URL. So for in the template cell, we're going to select the, the image. And this is, of course, all optional stuff. I'm say this item dot site image URL, and that'll give me a nice picture. Now, a couple things that we can do with this picture, I'll just give you a couple quick tips. So with the template picture selected, I'm going to change the image position from fit to fill to expand it to the full size. Now, the neat thing about uh, the properties of the picture is something called the border radius. Over on the right hand side, you will see border radius. And if you change that to something like 60, it will round the image off and make it look really nice. So the next thing we're going to do is with these items. So if this box is selected, let's choose the button. Of course, we could add in a, a different icon if we want to. Let's use a uh, let's use a checkbox. So with the template cell selected, we're going to insert the input and checkbox. And so this is going to put a checkbox in. And this is going to give us um, the ability to check the box and add the part to the collection. Say add to collection. All right, so that gives us the ability, our users, the ability to check the box. And so with the select, with the checkbox selected, we're going to go to the on check property. So right now, currently, if you check the box, nothing happens. And so we're going to change the on check property and create a collection. Now there's a couple different, uh, we, we can create a collection which adds the item to the collection. So we'll do that first. So collect is the way to call out a collection. And then if you have a collection already, you can call to it. If not, we can make one up. So let's call this a uh, park comparison. And for the collection, we're gonna say this item. And so if you check, the box is going to put that item into the collection called park comp. All right, so with that set, we can now start adding to our collection. So in order to see the collection, we're going to insert a gallery, another vertical gallery, and this time our data source is going to be our collection. Notice the park comp collection becomes available. And now once again, we can choose the items that we want to display inside of this. Uh, we don't need an image for this one. 
let's just say title, subtitle, and body. And then here we can edit the fields. We can see information about it. So um, let's say the park name, of course. And we already have the city information. Let's say show the park ID and then let's show the postal code too. So obviously you can have different columns inside of your table that you could call out to. So we just chose those few. So now if I hold down the alt key, I can add the items to the collection. Get Ronnie Van Zant, Black Creek. And now these are the items inside my collection. And this field right here is blank. And so this is the postal code, it didn't come up. So let's just change this to address. Let's see what the address is. All right, so that is a way to create a collection. Now the second piece is going to be a clear click. So notice that once these items are in the collection, even if I remove the check marks, the items are still inside of this collection. So if I were to add new items, notice that the old items are still inside of my collection. This is how collections work. If you want to clear out the context before you enter a new selection, that is going to be a clear collect. So with a clear collect, as you add items to the collection, Notice that although I check multiple items, it clears the items as I check them. So it'll clear any previous data and put only the new record inside of that collection. So clear collect will clear out the entire collection and put the item you've selected inside of that collection. The last thing we're going to talk about, so I'll make this back to a collection. So now we can add a bunch of items inside of our collection without clearing the data that was inside. But what if I want to clear this data? What if I want to make this collection empty? Well, for that, we're going to insert a button. And on the on select property of this button, we're going to call clear. We're going to clear the park comp collection. So now if I click my button, my collection disappears. So I prefer this method using a collection and a clear button versus using a clear collect. But I want to thank you guys for joining me. I hope this helps when you're creating your collections. See you next time.